Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from Interest.co.nz and welcome to 90 at 9, brought to you in association with the BNZ. This is your morning briefing where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, starting now with news from Europe, where Greece has been issued two deadlines by its partners in the European Union. Number one is that by Friday they have to come up with details of some complicated swaps arrangements, which the rest of Europe worries were used to hide the Greek debt for years. Goldman Sachs, of course, was involved. Also, Greece has to provide more detail on its budget cuts by March the 16th. Meanwhile, the Dow rose 125 points in late trade. Barclays, the British bank, came out with very strong profits, a doubling of profit. And also, the Federal Reserve came out with a report on manufacturing, which showed it was up, so that people are more relaxed about the prospects of global recovery. In Britain, Inflation there jumped to 3.5% for the year, above its target 2%. That's because of the reversal of a sales tax cut, and oil prices have risen. The weak pound was a factor there too. However, it did, did force the Bank of England's governor to write a letter to the UK government saying why inflation was outside that target range. And finally, some news on the Chinese front, where China has reduced its purchases of US Treasuries. In fact, in the last four months, they've been a net seller to the tune of 45 billion US. This helped push the US dollar down, which meant the New Zealand dollar rose to 70.6 cents overnight. I'm Bernard Hickey. That was 90 at 9, brought to you in association with the BNZ.